Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my podcast 016. Now, I'm sure you've seen associative hatches before in Vectorworks, but I'd like to show you how associative hatches work in Vectorworks 2010. This is the associative hatch you're used to. When you move the object, the hatch doesn't move. When you resize it, the hatch is fine. That's cool. Vectorworks 2010 has a new method of dealing with hatches. Here's one here, brick running bond. Once again, if we nudge the object, it looks like the hatch stays behind. If you use this tool here, the attribute mapping tool, you can move your hatch to a specific start point. It's still associative, so if we change the size of this object, the hatch is still associated to the object, but now the setting out points are specific. So we can choose where to start it, we can rescale this object just by stretching it, we can even rotate the hatch, which is pretty cool. So now your old hatches, your associative hatches, can now be stretched, turned, scaled, whatever you want. Visit www.archoncad.co.nz and look out for my new manual, Productivity, one of my new vector workout manuals.